When discussing naval supremacy, few assets are as crucial as the aircraft carrier. For the United States, these colossal ships symbolize both military power and strategic dominance. The U.S. Navy has long relied on the Nimitz-class carriers, but with the introduction of the Gerald R. Ford class, a new era is dawning. Understanding the differences between these two classes of carriers reveals much about the evolution of naval technology and the future of naval warfare. The Nimitz-class aircraft carriers, first introduced in the 1970s, were a revolutionary leap in naval engineering. Named after Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, these carriers were designed during the Cold War to ensure the U.S. Navy's dominance on the world's oceans. With a displacement of around 100,000 tons, these nuclear-powered behemoths could operate for over 20 years without the need for refueling, giving them unparalleled endurance. This capability allowed the U.S. to project power across the globe with remarkable flexibility. However, while the Nimitz class was state-of-the-art at its inception, the rapid advancement of technology over the decades has highlighted the need for modernization. Enter the Gerald R. Ford class, the next generation of U.S. aircraft carriers. The USS Gerald R. Ford, commissioned in 2017, is the lead ship of this class and marks a significant evolution in carrier design. Like the Nimitz class, the Ford class carriers are nuclear powered but their reactors are far more advanced, providing nearly three times the electrical power. This increase in power capacity is not just a technical improvement. It allows the Ford class to support a range of new systems and future technologies that the Nimitz class cannot, making these carriers truly future-proof. One of the most significant operational differences between the Nimitz and Ford class carriers lies in their aircraft launch and recovery systems. The Nimitz-class carriers rely on steam-powered catapults to launch aircraft. These systems, while reliable, are mechanically complex and require significant maintenance. The recovery of aircraft on Nimitz-class carriers is handled by traditional arresting wires, which, although effective, demand precise coordination and regular upkeep to remain operational. The Gerald R. Ford class, however, introduces the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System. Emails represents a major technological leap, offering smoother and more controlled launches that reduce wear and tear on the aircraft. This system also increases the rate at which aircraft can be launched, significantly boosting the carrier's sortie rate. Coupled with the advanced arresting gear system, which improves the recovery of aircraft by providing greater reliability and efficiency, the Ford class carriers are designed to sustain high intensity operations far more effectively than their predecessors. Both the Nimitz and Ford class carriers are heavily armed to defend against a variety of threats. But the Ford class brings several advancements that enhance its defensive capabilities. The Nimitz class is equipped with RIM-7 Sea Sparrow missiles for medium-range defense and the Phalanx CIWS for close-range threats. Over the years, these carriers have been upgraded with better radar and electronic warfare capabilities, though they still rely on older technology compared to modern standards. In contrast, the Gerald R. Ford class features more advanced missile systems, such as the RIM-162, Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile, and the RM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile, which provides superior protection against incoming threats, including modern anti-ship missiles. The Ford class also integrates advanced electronic warfare systems designed to better detect and counteract enemy targeting efforts. Additionally, the ship's reduced radar cross-section achieved through design improvements makes it harder for enemy forces to detect and engage the carrier, significantly enhancing its survivability. The air wing is the heart of an aircraft carrier's operational capability, and both the Nimitz and Ford class carriers can carry a similar number of aircraft, typically between 60 and 80. However, the operational efficiency with which these aircraft can be launched and recovered differs significantly between the two classes. 
The Nimitz class, while capable, is constrained by its older steam catapult systems, which limit the number of sorties it can generate in a day. The Ford class carriers, thanks to emails and AAG, can achieve a higher sortie rate, meaning they can launch and recover more aircraft in a shorter period. This capability is critical during intense combat operations, where the ability to rapidly deploy and recover aircraft can be the difference between success and failure. The Ford class's enhanced sortie generation gives it a significant tactical advantage, allowing for more sustained air operations in any given conflict scenario. The differences between the Nimitz and Ford class carriers extend beyond just their operational capabilities. They also impact the daily lives of the sailors who serve on them. A Nimitz class carrier typically requires a crew of about 5,000 sailors, including the air wing. Operating and maintaining the complex systems on board these ships is labor intensive, which has driven the need for such a large crew. While these carriers were designed to provide adequate living conditions, the focus was more on operational capability than crew comfort. The Ford class carriers, in contrast, are designed to be more efficient and less labor intensive, requiring a crew of about 4,500. This reduction is made possible by increased automation and more streamlined systems, which also help reduce the overall cost of operation. Furthermore, the Ford class includes improved living conditions and facilities, reflecting a modern understanding of the importance of crew comfort and morale, especially during long deployments. Cost is always a critical factor in the development and deployment of military assets, and the Nimitz and Ford class carriers are no exception. The Nimitz class carriers were each built at a cost of approximately $4.5 billion dollars but the total life cycle cost, including maintenance and upgrades over their 50-year service life can exceed $20 billion. These costs have been justified by the carrier's proven effectiveness and longevity. However, the Gerald R. Ford class carriers come with a significantly higher upfront cost, around $13 billion per ship. This price reflects the advanced technology and systems integrated into these carriers. Despite the higher initial investment, the Ford class is expected to have lower operational and maintenance costs over its life cycle due to its reduced crew size and more efficient systems. Moreover, the Ford class is designed with easier upgrade paths, potentially extending its effective service life even further than its predecessors. Strategically, both the Nimitz and Ford class carriers play crucial roles in the U.S. Navy's ability to project power globally. The Nimitz class has been the cornerstone of U.S. naval operations for decades, enabling the Navy to conduct a wide range of missions, from deterrence to humanitarian assistance. These carriers have proven their worth time and again, and their legacy will endure even as they are gradually replaced by the newer Ford class. The Gerald R. Ford class represents the future of naval aviation, equipped to meet the challenges of the 21st century with enhanced capabilities and readiness. As global threats evolve, the Ford class carriers will be better suited to adapt to new technologies and operational demands. Their advanced systems, higher sortie rates, and improved survivability ensure that they will continue to play a dominant role in U.S. naval strategy for decades to come. While both the Nimitz and Ford class carriers are marvels of engineering, each represents a different era of naval warfare. The Nimitz class, with its long and distinguished service record, stands as a symbol of American naval power throughout the late 20th and early 21st centuries. The Gerald R. Ford class, with its cutting-edge technology and forward-looking design, is poised to carry that mantle into the future, ensuring that the U.S. Navy remains a dominant force on the global stage. Do you think the advanced technology in the Gerald R. Ford class will make traditional carriers like the Nimitz obsolete in the future? 
Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. In conclusion, the comparison between the Nimitz and Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers highlights the evolution of naval technology and strategy. While the Nimitz class has served as a reliable workhorse for decades, the Ford class represents the next step in the evolution of aircraft carriers, offering enhanced capabilities that will keep the U.S. Navy at the forefront of naval power for many years to come. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of these incredible ships. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. We'll see you in the next video.